Hey, it's Terry Hatfield here, General Manager of Leisure RV Center of the Greater Houston area. We're blessed to have Nick Larios, Winnebago Industries, with us today, presenting some new product offerings, and um, thought it'd be nice to share it with you guys. Nick? Well, thank you so much. Glad to be here, and let's go ahead and hop into it. Hi, my name is Nick Larios and I'm from Winnebago and today we are going to walk around the Solus Pocket 36A. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the 36A Pocket is actually an 18 foot coach, 1711 to be exact. So if you think about this, this is a perfect van for you not just to use this as a camper van, but also as an everyday traveler, fitting in a normal parking spot. So generally parking spots range but for the most part they have to at the very minimum have to be 18 feet so this is where this would be perfect to use for weekend warriors or again going to the grocery store uh, going to the gym this is a great uh, coach to use this for so a few things as we walk around the coach here I just want to point out um, this is a small little table to really enhance the outdoor living space right so for me, if I can have my little grill here, um, this is where I'll have my drinks. Just another um, space where I can place things at when I'm outside the coach. But you know, being able to use this and um, change the level of it, because again, the coach not, might, might not be as level as possible when I'm parked at, you know, at a campground or if I'm doing some dry camping. We also have right here the screen protector. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these off here. Two small little snaps. Take these. Zippers, we're gonna pull them right on down. Let's get this on this side, there we go. Okay, and then once I, the beauty of this is I don't have a slider here, right? And then a lot of times I have, uh, or you know, you might have a pet, or um, somebody might go in and out and forget to um, slide it down or slide the screen, where this is actually all magnetic. Very easy to use, so if my dog runs out, I'm not necessarily worried that they're gonna break the screen. Um, and then as we keep walking around the back here, so this is a little bit different of a coach. So come on back here in the back. I want to just show you something here. So you don't see a bathroom, right? Customers were actually building this specific floor plan. So we said, you know what, let's make this easy. Let's put the easy button so they can have it now and something that they know that they can have and use. And especially if it's built by a manufacturer. So, um, back in the back here. This is basically where our bed would be when we put it down. I'll show you guys that when we get into the back. But again, how much space there is back here for my gear or for my um, bikes. We have a small little a gate here. All right, so we can go. So what happens is, especially with customers who have their gear, a lot of the times we see when they press on the brakes, all of their gear slides from back to front. So now what we're doing with this gate is we're separating the gear space or the garage, however you want to put it, from the living space. Or how about this? You have your pets, you know, traveling with you. This could easily be a great kennel area, right? All of our, oh, we have tons of cubby space throughout the coach here. The one thing I do love about this is that our tanks within the coach are all inside. So it's hard a little, it's a little bit to visualize here, but our fresh water tank is right here. And our gray water tank is right here. So everything is above the floor. So that's huge because this coach is actually could be technically an extended camping type of coach. You could use this in the winter time. You could use this in the summertime. It actually, we have insulation throughout the entire coach. Behind these walls here, we have a layer of, of foam insulation. And then we also have a 3M thin slit. So again, really keeping this a warm or a cool coach in the summertime. Warm if it's in the winter. But with this, I, with this light here, which I was kind of getting to beforehand, I'm actually able to see directly into the fresh water tank to see how much water I truly have. So that's huge because a lot of the times a quarter tank, half a tank, a three quarter tank, it's harder to determine on how much water that I have in the tank where this I have actual straight visibility here um, of how much water I have. Okay, so right here I'll come, come to the side, uh, the passenger side, I'll move this little cushion. We're going to use this later. This is actually going to be for the bed, but also for the, the living space here. But I do want to show you this. How much prep space you have right here? Again, this is an 18 foot coach. So for me, this would be a great little van so I could you know, do my work here, I could have a little stool, I could open up the windows, the blackout shades here, 
I could watch, you know, I could be outside and um, really enjoy that experience, but be able to work on the road. That's huge. So the gear garage space will also have these tie downs. So again, to really secure some of our bikes or e-bikes um, and as well as our gear back here. The bed is at a, is at a different height right it's a little bit higher and the reason why is because we still wanted to design the back of this coach so you could still access your bike with the bed completely down i'm a type of guy who like who you know doesn't like to make its bed every day so again it's easy where if i make if i have the bed down i can still access a lot of the gear or my bikes in and out of the coach coming to the right here we'll have just our solar panel plug-in so again we'll have 170 watts here on the top of the roof on this coach we're going to have 12 volt outlets usb outlets 110 outlets um, a fresh water inlet water pump here's an actual water um, spigot um, or quick connect so you could be able to use um, the um, outdoor shower so we talked about a little bit about insulation and, and as well as um, everything inside the coach so yeah if you open this up this is where you'll see where our gray water tank handles at so our water pump our water filter everything is inside the coach and if I need to dump the um, my gray tank it easily you're able to do so there okay on the driver's side this is a pretty cool little innovation that we uh that we've uh, recently done this is where our propane tanks at and that's huge having one of this having one of these excuse me is a great feature to have because again i don't have to go to a koa or a campground to fill up my propane tank anymore or go to a loves which we all know sometimes or that person the technician that fills up our propane tank is not there right i've had that several times where i could bring several of these i can go to a walmart i can go to a, a, a gas station just swap it out and rather than having to fill it up at a certain location so and to be able to pull it out is very simple just unbuckle this undo the hose pull it completely out it is in its own separate compartment so if there is a leak at any time Propane is generally, propane is heavier than oxygen. So what it'll do is it'll leak down and there's vents um, located at the bottom of the compartment. And in this little bag here, I'll kind of pull it out. This is what we call a Luno bed. So what this is is an inflatable cab bed that goes within the cab area. Um, so now it can add, you know, technically this is a two person sleeper, right? We have two, per two people driving and then we have a two person sleeping back here. But now we can make this a third having a cab bed that goes along the front of the cab area itself, or, you know, hey, if I have a pet, this would be a great bed for them as well. So I really want to point out a few things on the driver's side here where it, it just looks clean. There's not a whole lot of cutouts. You know, there's very minimal things here. So again, it could be really discreet if you, you know, when you have this coach, um, when you're out camping and exploring. So this right here is just an emergency or an, another area where you can go ahead to um, turn off the propane itself. Uh, propane itself. Um, directly through there gray um, gray outlet located there and basically all we have is our 30 amp plug-in service on this side and then just a truma vario heat exhaust vent other than that it's a very clean looking coach so this is the ram chassis so this is actually the 3.6 liter v6 with a nine speed automatic transmission so they've really updated a lot of their safety features and as well as some of the hardware underneath the hood you know now getting up to highway speeds is a breeze in this coach at, at one time it was kind of a little difficult to get up there where now i'm telling you you'll be able to run up and down the uh, highways without any issues um, but also it's able to tow about 3500 pounds so that's big, you know, being able to tow maybe a, a small motorcycle, uh, maybe a small little trailer with some extra toys, because again, you don't necessarily need another car behind this guy. I and mean, this is a, probably just as long, if not shorter, than a fully loaded um, Suburban right now. So that's another thing that I really want you to know that. From a safety feature perspective, it's gonna have blind spot monitoring. It's gonna have a digital rear view mirror, and there's tons and tons of other safety features that this coach will help you really enjoy the RV experience. All right, so a few things I want to point out right here. Uh, we have our light switches, coach battery switch, 110 outlets. We have a USB, or we have USBs and 12-volt uh, outlets. I love the placement of this refrigerator. Being able to access this from the outside of the coach. You know, especially being out day, uh, um, outdoors all day, hiking, you know, fishing. You don't have to come in and grab a beer, grab a soda, grab water from inside of the coach. You can easily access everything from, um, from the outside of the coach. So come on in. I want to show you a few things in here. Cabinets are pretty cool. This is, I know it's a small little thing, but that's what's gonna help um, help you guys ex have a better experience. Magnetic holding system. A lot of the times, 
we have to hold up the cabinet or the cabinet comes to about right here. But I love the fact that when I'm taking or I'm putting things inside the cabinet or I'm taking things out, it's easily accessible and not have to necessarily worry about hitting my head. That's another thing too. It always happens. Um, we also have more outlets here or what 10, um, USB 110 as well as uh, 12 volt. The one thing I, always, I forgot to point out in the other videos, but as well as this one, is that all of our coaches have roof access ports. So what we do is at the manufacturing process, we'll pre-drill a hole for consume or for customers. So if they want to go ahead and add, you know, maybe a Wi-Fi extender, antenna booster, you know, any of those providers that can add, um, you know, either more internet or Wi-Fi, uh, cell phone stuff. That's where they can easily be able to go up on the roof, attach it directly through, um, and be able to plug it in right here. Now, this is the fun part. So, this is what really makes the pocket so unique. This is what our dinette space, so this is our living, our flexibility living area. So, in here, um, what we did, what the design was when we did this was we wanted to make sure, um, especially working remotely started to become a little bit more of a common theme. We want to be able to utilize this in multiple, um, in multiple cases. Um, so right now this could be transformed into about five different configurations. We have a two person dinette, a love seat, a sofa, a day bed, and also a sleeping space. That's huge. So I'm going to walk you through every single one and show you how I do it and make this um, a pretty cool and unique little area. So right now I'm in a two person dinette. Before I hop into it, I just wanna show you a few things here. I have cup holders, I have um, 110 outlets, USB outlets. So again, we're putting USB outlets and, and 12 volt outlets everywhere. More storage down here. We have storage down here at the bottom. We have some hutch storage in here, so this would be a great place to put you know files and your laptop, your iPad, just so they're out of the way. So. Now let the fun begin. Um, this is a part where it's like, hey, I'm going to a tailgate. I'm going camping. I'm going to have a few friends over, and I really want to be able to utilize this space and you know have some more open floor plan here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this from a dinette into a love seat. So pretty easy. A little cam latch underneath the table pops off. So again, just something that looks pretty ordinary. You know, if you have a bicycle, it's just kind of the same kind of la um, locking mechanism here. I'm gonna set this here for now. I'm gonna unhook this guy. I'm just gonna put this guy up here to make my life a little bit easier this out of the way. This guy comes here. Now, always a pro tip. Take these guys and leave them at the bottom and all they need to do is rotate. Very simple, just like that. Then, I am going to take my cushion from the bed there's always a little spot here, perfect. And now, I have a love seat. This is great, I could have one other person here. So again, we could really just sit back and relax, enjoy the outdoors. We have the door open with the screen. So again, it's another way we could utilize this. But let's just say this. Now, I have a few more people coming, or hey, which happens quite a bit. Nick, I didn't, you didn't make your bed. So this is currently being used. What other configuration can we turn this into? So now I'm gonna take this from a love seat into a sofa. So this is being used, right? We're gonna put this away. We're gonna rotate these for a little bit just, just so we could have a little bit of space. I'm gonna put this to the side. Now, the rear facing back of the dinette can be removed. You can simply just unhook those, come here. This goes down here. I'm gonna take those little brackets and I'm gonna put them up top, just to make my, make, you know, just kind of put them away. You could place them underneath the, um, the back. It's just, I, I find it a little bit easier to do it that way. We're gonna rotate these now. Okay, same process. Put them there, put them here. And now, I'm going to put that right there. Just like so. Now, I have a sofa. So look, I'm here all the way to the, all the, way to the right, all the way to the back of the dinette. I could easily fit one, maybe two more people here, possibly a third. So that's big. 
So if you think about it, we could have one, two, three, four, five people in an 18 foot coach. That's huge. But you know, maybe I want to utilize my table, right? I have friends over, we want to play card games, you know, maybe somebody's working um, while I'm having, you know, some soda. <laughs> we probably use, we'll probably be using something, drinking something else. But you know, we can go ahead and take the same table bracket. There we go. I'm gonna loosen it up a little bit so I can scroll down. I'm gonna take my table. And now I could utilize that, you know, for, you know, card games, somebody's working, or maybe I could use this as like another extension if I'm cooking or, you know, I'm washing the dishes. So again, trying to utilize this as much as, much as possible. Now, so right now we've gone through three configurations, right? We've done the sleep, we've done two person dinette, sofa, and love seat. But let's just say I'm by myself. I just got done driving an eight hour, nine hour day. Um, I'm a little exhausted, but I need to get caught, catched up or I need to catch up on my emails. Or maybe I wanna read a book. So now what we could do with this or in this configuration, we could also create a day bed. Let me show you how. Very simple. I'm gonna rotate. I'm going to put this here, this here, this here. Now, I have an awesome little space where I can read my book, I can get caught up on my emails, I can, you know, be out, you know, have the door open and, you know, be, really enjoy the outdoors. So again, just another way we could utilize this. So, again, if I need to also use this as a sleeping space, I take this little guy here, I'll put it down here towards the bottom, just to, just to kind of get out of the way. But now I could use this as a small little sleeping space. That is huge in a small 18 foot van. So now we could bring three people, we could sleep three people, but we could also probably sleep three people with the dog, with the cab bed from the Luna bed that we showed you earlier. So this is a small van that has a huge story. And you could utilize this um, in different you know, ways and how you could use this as an everyday traveler, as a camper van. But again, just really giving you a van that you can really enjoy this outdoor lifestyle. So on the passenger side, I just want to point out a few things. We have several um, little drawers here um, that you can you know, put your, your utensils and stuff like that. Uh, this was actually designed uh, the depth of this. Um, so you can add a small little trash can in here. Since we all have a whole lot of cabinet space, we um, provide this little solace bag um, for uh, larger utensils such as um, tongs or uh, spatulas. Just another little uh, small little thing that's pretty cool. Um, the gate here is actually a molly panel. Um, this is a really cool design that, you know, again, you could utilize to hang up more stuff, more gear, especially on the back side or here on the lower part. Um, across from me, we'll have a three burner uh, gas cooktop and as well as a large um, single bowl stainless steel sink. So let's talk about tank sizes. We have a 20 gallon freshwater tank, 20 gallon gray water tank, and underneath here we have a small little three gallon porta potty just in case if you have an emergency. Let's talk about air conditioning and heating. So we are in our air conditioner here, the 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach 10 um, NDQ that's located there. Um, and then we also have a Truma Vario Heat, very efficient, small little heating system that's actually located right underneath this dinette space um, that runs off of the propane. Um, going up to the top here, this is where you'll be able to find all your um, controls. So to the left, this is the light that goes over the cab area. Uh, we talked about our solar controller, so this coach does have 170 amps, uh, 170 watts, excuse me, of, of solar on the roof. Uh, this is where you'll see all of your information here from black tank, uh, or excuse me, your battery, gray, and then you're turning on and off your water pump, and then our Truma Vario Heat uh, controller there as well. To use the bed, you unbuckle the safety belt, pretty small little um, safety area or kind of holding spot right there comes on down very easy we do have nice little zoomy slats to keep the mattress off of the cabinetry to kind of help with um, with comfort and as well as allows the mattress and the cushion to uh, breathe a little bit so you don't have get any mold or um, get a stinky mattress nobody wants that um, so I'm gonna move this up just like that uh, more cabinetry here we have some small little pockets on this side so yes your head would go over here um, rather than uh, going on this side because you don't want to wake up in the morning and hit your head. But again, USB ports everywhere, 12 volt outlets. So 
again, this, uh, this is a really cool coach. Not just, you know, I've said this several times, is I would use this as an everyday travel. Going to the gym, going to the grocery store, you know, maybe go on a weekend trip, you know, you know, hopping from the front of the coach, from the driver's seat and hopping in here, it just makes me feel a little bit secured when I'm, you know, traveling in those rough areas or, or at nighttime. So again, the Solus Pocket is a really, really cool coach that has a really fun story. Thanks for joining me today and going through the Solus Pocket 36A. I hope you learned something and we'll see you down the road.